Hello friends in this video we will discuss about the types of exocytosis I have done a video earlier about exocytosis in this video we will discuss about its types If you haven't watched the video on exocytosis introduction please do watch it before you go to the types of exocytosis So exocytosis is a process in which substances are released from inside a cell to outside so this process is of three types that is constitutive exocytosis regulated exocytosis and the last it is lysosome mediated exocytosis now let us discuss each exocytosis types in detail first is the constructive exocytosis also known as constitutive exocytosis so in this type of exocytosis the delivery of the membrane proteins as well as the lipids to the cell membrane occurs that is the membrane proteins and the lipids are delivered to the cell membrane and this is how they get rid of the substances from the cell to the exterior so the constructive exocytosis is the most common pathway by which the substances are released from a cell to a outward so now let us discuss about regulated exocytosis so regulated exocytosis is a mechanism which is seen in secretory cells the secretory cells function we know that it is meant for storing it stores hormones digestive enzymes and neurotransmitters so in regulated exocytosis these secretory cells become secretory vessels only when they receive the extracellular signals so when they receives that is when the secretory cells receive the extracellular signals they become the secretory vessels and then then fuses with the cell membrane for a long time and it allows the cell condens out of the cell into the exterior so when a cell that is when a secretory cells receives the extracellular signals they become the secretory vessels and they then fuse with the cell membrane for a long time and after that they release the condens towards outside so this is how a regulated exocytosis is carried out and after these secretory vessels release its condens they reform and return back to the cytoplasm with the help of the diagram let us explain both the constitutive as well as the regulated exocytosis in the first that is in constitutive secretion they involve the involvement of membrane proteins as you can see in the diagram these red colored structures are the membrane proteins these membrane proteins direct these vesicles towards the membrane so these membrane proteins directs them towards the membrane and they release they condense to the outside so this is done in constitutive secretion whereas in regulated secretions there is a requirement of extracellular signal transduction so only when a signal is reached towards the these vesicles these secretory cells they become vesicles after they become a vesicle it moves towards the membrane and these substances are released outside so the difference between both is that in constitutive secretion there is a need of membrane proteins and in regulated secretion there is a need of extracellular signal transduction the third type of exocytosis is the lysosome mediated exocytosis 
what happens in lysosome mediated exocytosis is that these vesicles fuse with the lysosomes so lysosomes is an organelle which has many enzymes in them it has digestive enzymes at the same time has hydrolyse enzymes so because of these enzymes there is a breakdown of cellular waste materials so inside a lysosome these substances whether it's cellular waste materials or microorganisms or even debris are being broken down so these lysosomes after they fuse with the cell vesicles they move and reach to the cell membrane when it reaches the cell membrane it fuses with the cell membrane and it releases its elements towards outside and this is done in lysosome mediated exocytosis so the three types of pathways through which exocytosis is carried out is first is consecutive so in this there is a requirement of membrane proteins and these membrane proteins and lipids move these vesicles towards the cell membrane in second part is regulated path in this there is a requirement of signals when these signals reach the secretory cells they become vesicles and they fuse with the cell membrane and after it these substances are released outside the last method is lysosome mediated exocytosis in this exocytosis these vesicles are being fused with the lysosomes after they fuse with lysosomes they move move towards these cell membrane when they reach the cell membrane they fuse with the cell membrane and releases its contents outside so this is how a uh, exocytosis is carried out inside a cell now let us discuss the examples of exocytosis a very good example of exocytosis is a transportation of glucagon from the pancreas in islets of lange hans into the liver in the liver these glucagon is broken down to glycogen it is further broken down to glucose and glucose is simpler for the absorption this glucose is then released into the blood stream this diagram shows the transportation of glucagon from pancreas to liver and glucose from liver to the blood vessels when the blood vessels needs glucose or when the blood vessels is deficient of glucose these glu glucagons from pancreas is being transported by exocytosis these glucagons are present by inside these secretory vessels in pancreas so from these pancreas they move towards the liver in the liver there is a breakdown these are broken down first to glycogen and then to glucose this glucose is then released to the blood vessels in this way the blood vessels receive the glucose this is a very good example of exocytosis hope the concept of types and example is clear for more such videos do subscribe to our channel if you like the video please like and share with your friends